there's a simple way to make great decisions in your life. And that way is simply to follow your body and your body's response to life. Because so often we try to make decisions from our mind, we try to live a logical life, and it doesn't work. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I talk a lot about this because this is really the only thing that matters. Because if you can make great decisions in your life, not only will you be led to a fulfilling life, a life filled with purpose, passion, and satisfaction, but you'll be happy on the way there because you'll be aligned with what you want to do and what you feel drawn to do. The problem is that we want things, we have desires, and those desires come from our minds. So in essence, we have to give up what we think we want in order to live the life we were meant to live. Because we all, all have our, we all have certain predispositions and strengths. And I mean, some people are storytellers. Some people are very logical and like to organize things. Some people are engineers. Some people are artists. And it's not until you start living your own design until you start enjoying life. And living your design and living the life you were meant to live comes down to listening to your heart, your gut, your inner wisdom, whatever you want to call it, because your body knows what you meant you were meant to do. And the problem with the mind is that we've been conditioned in so many ways. We've been told what we should do, what we must do in order to be successful, in order to be happy and in order to survive. And you have to remember that what we've been told are all assumptions that come from other people. So what I found in my life is that in order for me to make great decisions, I have to really listen to my body. And I like to call it listening to my heart. And above all, I have to be willing to let go of the fears and assumptions I have, the thoughts that swirl around me and tell me, well, what about this? What if that happens? What about this and that and whatever is going on? And for me, it's not about eliminating bad thoughts, but simply letting them be there while I refocus on my body and where I feel drawn to go. So I live life through my heart. And if that means that I end up homeless or that something happens, then something bad happens, then so be it, because I refuse to do something that makes me miserable. I'm going to follow my heart and what feels magnetic to me, and whatever happens will happen. It certainly won't be comfortable all the time. Even, even though I'm living the life I want to live right now, I still have days where I feel melancholic, sad, but that's just the roller coaster of life, of emotions. It goes up and down, and if you're open to it and if you let it be, it teaches you things, it shows you life from different perspectives. So if you want to make great decisions, start listening to your body, and the way I do that is simply by noticing what feels alive to me, what feels magnetic. So sometimes I may... I may stumble on a book and it feels like I just have to read it. There's something there. And I read it and I'm done. Sometimes I feel like doing something else. And this is something you have to experiment with. I can't tell you what your process will look like because I'm still learning myself. I'm still peeling away the layers. And I'm sure I'll be doing this for the rest of my life. So again, it's a journey. It's an experiment. It's something for you to discover and uncover. So play with this and start noticing how your mind is pressuring you to do things you don't really want to do. And all that conditioning comes from the outside. It's conditioning from the outside to conform, to prove that you're good enough when, you, when in fact you're already good enough and all you have to do is 
follow what feels magnetic. So that's really all I have to say on this topic for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to click like, remember to subscribe. And if you want more information on doing work you love and living a passionate life, then come visit me at wakeupcloud.com. I'll talk to you soon.